Good morning guys, we're looking to build one of these today and this is uh, part one. So let's get started. Right, I'll see what I've got in the box here. Uh, this is your ESCs, your electronic speed controllers that you'll need for your motors. Uh, this is your heat shrink, which you'll also need. As you can see from the video, I've already assembled um, with the nuts and bolts, which you can see in front of you. Now this is basically uh, the HJ450 um, that you can probably buy on eBay and plenty of other um, hobby places. It will also work as your uh, circuit board, so all your electronics will can be soldered onto the board like your uh, your power leads for your batteries and bits and pieces like that these are your motors these are Emacs uh, 2212 which are 980 kV uh, very good quality motors right, first things first what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna solder up the ends of these cables uh, tinning, I think you call it, over there in the States. This is your packet of fixings. You can have your screws and your top to um, attach your rotors onto the top of here. Here's your bag of clips. Um, there's a couple of spare sir clips that go on the bottom of the motor. Um, so they're spares, so we'll keep them. They go on the bottom there. Uh, there's a few extra little bits and pieces. Keep hold of them. And this bracket, which um, which is for mounting the motor, but we don't need that one, so we'll keep hold of that. Right. Let's proceed to tin or solder the ends of these uh, cables now, ready for the um, connectors to go on. Right, now we've tinned the end, we're going to fill up these connectors with uh, solder. So what we're going to do is, we're going to uh, take the... Um, connector, put it into something secure, and then we're going to fill up the ends with the uh, solder, so that we can uh, add it to our, <coughs> our wire. And then once we've done that one, we'll uh, proceed to do it to the rest of them. Now we've done those three, what we're going to do now is we're going to add some heat shrink. So cut a small piece of heat shrink, maybe about an inch long, slide it over the end of the connector, and then uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to heat it up, and then uh, that's going to give us a nice clean joint, hopefully, with a bit of uh, protection around it. There we go, there is our heat shrink as you can see there, all nicely heated. Now we've got to do the uh, the other three. So let's get on with it. Thank you. 
Right, done all that. Right, now we've got to uh, put some solder on our um, circuit board, which is the bottom board that you can see here. There's um, there's actually a positive and a negative on each leg. This one, there, 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 and there. Uh, there's also a positive and negative there for your battery. Um, so if we uh, we tin that up now, then um, we can connect our ESCs and our battery cable straight onto the board, and that will uh, make things a lot easier for ourselves. Well, that's nearly it for part one guys uh, if you want to check out part two we'll have the uh, installation of the ESCs and some of the other bits and pieces so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you